So let's talk about the PS5, but this time we're talking about the PS5 Pro, and I've got some very important details that I have found out about the PS5 Pro. Specs, hardware, and release date, and when to expect an announcement, an official announcement that is, from Sony. So let's dive right in. What's up, Facebook? Hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't already, be sure to follow, tap the bell, explanation point, notify, and be sure to follow me over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Joseph Corey. And you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Real Joseph Corey. And check out my new singles on Spotify and Apple Music, Joseph Corey. Induendo Vivo, Toto Bizarro, Mosquito, No Migo, Jack Harlow, Combo, Gonzo, Salvo, Fuero, Not So Like a Fucking Soprano. So let's talk about the PS5, but this time we're talking about the PS5 Pro. And I've got some very important details that I have found out about the PS5 Pro. Specs, hardware, and release date, and when to expect an announcement, an official announcement that is, from Sony. So let's dive right in. First off, let's talk about the specs. The PS5 had the equivalent of an AMD 3700 CPU, which is pretty good. It's the generation one AMD Ryzen CPU. It also had a GPU that was equivalent, basically an AMD 5700 XT, but the 5700 doesn't have ray tracing, whereas the 6700 and 6800 do. So it was basically along the lines of a 6700 XT. If you're gonna compare the PS5 to the Nvidia cards, it was more or less along the lines of an RTX 2080, whereas the Series X was an RTX 2080 Super or Super Duper. In any case, the PS5 GPU is more than capable. However, with all these new graphic cards coming out and the PS5 Pro version on the horizon, what are they gonna do to step up the hardware and make the PS5 Pro so much better than the original PS5? Well, I'll quote here on something I read. The PS5 Pro is going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of twice as fast as the PS5. But how do they intend to do that? Well, let me tell you guys exactly what we're looking at. But first, I want to show you guys a little something on the screen. So you guys can see the Xbox Series X, 12 teraflops. The 2080 RTX Super is 11.15. So it's actually a little more powerful than a 2080 Super. It's kind of in between that and an RX Vega 64. Whereas the PS5 is down here, 5700 XT. But it's a little bit better because it has ray tracing. So Nonetheless, it's pretty much an RTX 2080. It's not a 2070 because the PS5 actually has ray tracing and more teraflops than a 2070 Super. So it's very close to a 2080 or a 6700 XT. So now that we've got that out of the way, what does that mean for the PS5 Pro? Now, from the emails I've received from people in the industry and the leaks that they've found, it's looking like the PS5 Pro is going to get a major upgrade to the 7nm Gen 3 Ryzen. I would not expect them to throw a 5800 in there because of the fact that those CPUs are respectfully $350 each. I wouldn't expect them to be able to do that, whereas the 5600X is a lot more affordable and for them, it's gonna be probably something equivalent to that, may not be the exact CPU, but CPU performance is going to be on that of basically a 5700X. And because the 5700X is only about $189, they can probably source it for much cheaper in mass production. They might only be paying 130, 140 for that CPU, which is still considerable amount of money, so I kind of would expect the PS5 Pro is going to be in the $500 range, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. But Sony does not like to go much above $500, if at all, ever. I mean, Sony doesn't want to go above $500. They want to keep it at $499 and $399. On paper, is a significant jump in computing performance from the 3600 equivalent or 3700 equivalent of the PS5. The TDP is 65 watts versus the 3700 at 95. So it's better technology technology runs cooler and is faster and it's likely we're going to see that CPU. Now when comparing the 5600 to the 3600 while gaming in DirectX 12 with the exact same video card, it averaged between 8 to 10 frames per second more. 
so it's a much better CPU. It's gonna be a pretty big jump for the PlayStation 5 Pro. Not to mention the big thing here is the fact is also 36% faster via Geekbench on single core, which a lot of games still use. And not to mention a 5% increase in turbo boost frequency. So it's going to perform much better in gaming than the 36 or 3700. So expect that to be a big factor in the PS5 Pro. Now, as far as the video card, the big important part of this whole discussion What's gonna happen with the PS5 Pro's video card? What's gonna happen? What are they gonna put in there? How powerful is it gonna be? Can it play 8K games? I don't know about that, but I will say 4K 120 might be possible. It's gonna be a little tough because my 3090 back here struggles to do 120 in 4K. But with some checkerboard rendering and some slick tactics by Sony that they employ all the time. It may be possible to see some AMD super resolution AI going on here where it's going to render 1080 back up to 4K and you get close to 120. You know for sure that 1080 120 is 100% gonna happen with almost no degradation in graphics like we're seeing on the PlayStation 5, which sucks. It really does. To play 120 in PlayStation 5, it really does suck. They degrade the graphics too potatoes. Why, Sony? Why? Why must you do this? We got the 2080 inside the PS5, or basically an equivalent of a 2080 or a beefed up 2070 Super. In the PS5 Pro, it's going to be a big jump forward. It's going to be using the AMD architecture on their new 7700 XT. However, it's going to be something equivalent. So if you're wondering, what is the 7700 XT? And how good is it? And when is it coming out? Well, to answer those questions, the 7700 XT is the new Navi 33 from AMD, and it is going to be a beast. It's going to provide you with 6800 and 6900 XT performance. We all know the 6900 XT is the equivalent of the 3080 NVIDIA card. With eight gigabytes of video memory, the 7700 XT is going to be a monster for consoles. And the big thing about this GPU is the fact that it's going to be running cooler than the 68 and 6900 XT video cards. It's RDNA 6NM, which is much better than the previous generations. And I will tell you guys that this card on paper looks incredible. Eight gigabytes of GDDR6 video memory as well. So that's gonna be blazing fast. The 7700 XT puts out 20 teraflops almost 21 teraflops to be quite honest here. That's a lot. The 3070 Ti puts out 21.75 teraflops. So if you really look at this, the PS5 Pro is basically going to be a 3070 Ti. That is insane. When you really think about that, the 3070 Ti is a top tier gaming card right now because the 3090 and 3090 Ti are not really gaming cards, which means 3070 Ti is only two steps below. It's one of the top cards and to have that in a console is insane. With AMD Super Resolution and the capabilities of the new AMD 7700 XT, it would not be hard to imagine 1080p at 240 hertz or quad HD at 120 hertz and checkerboard rendering 4K at 120. It's safe to say that the PS5 Pro might actually deliver what the PS5 originally promised, which is really good and really exciting for a console gamer. The PS5 is going to be stacked. And if these leaks are true, like they look to be, these emails that I'm getting are pretty legit and from reliable resources, the PS5 Pro is gonna be pushing out a whopping 20 to 22 teraflops. That's double PS5, actually more than double, and literally double Xbox Series X. This is insanity, to say the least, and I am very excited. So you might be wondering, when is the PS5 Pro coming out? We haven't even gotten an announcement yet. Well, let's sit here and look at the history. The PS4 came out in November of 2013. The announcement for the PS4 Pro was in September of 16 with a release of November of 16. And that's kind of the trend that all the consoles have been keeping up with over the last 15 years. My sources are telling me PS5 Pro is going to have an announcement sometime summer of 2023. And we are expecting the PS5 to release in November of 2023 
we're pretty much almost 100% certain that November 23 is when you're going to see the PS5 Pro. So get ready guys, we are only a year away from an announcement, one year away from the PS5 Pro that's going to deliver 3070 Ti performance in the AMD's new 6NM RDNA architecture, Navi 33 XT. It's craziness, right? What do you guys think? Comment below, share this video. Do you think the PS5 Pro is going to be a banger? I think it's going to be legendary, to say the least, and I'm super excited for it. But that's going to do it, guys, for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, tap the bell, and check me out over on Facebook Gaming at facebook.com forward slash Real Joseph Corey. Check me out over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Joseph Corey, and TikTok and Twitter, as well as Instagram. Real Joseph Corey, and check out my brand new single over on Spotify and Apple Music. Joseph Corey got some new music I just released, and my music and music videos are released exclusively. And my music and music videos are released right here on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much, guys. Have a blessed day. Are you guys excited for the PS5 Pro? Share, comment below. What do you guys think? Like, help me grow this channel. We'll see you guys in the next upload live stream. I'm out of here. Do You're the one that I want